Directed by Kan Iguchi, Sanctuary or Sanctuary Seiki is the latest Netflix release starring Wataru Ichinose in the lead role. As the G drama on the lesser known Sumo World releases on the streaming platform, we thought this would be the perfect time to talk about the show, explain the ending, and discuss all the hidden details. But before that, a spoiler warning is in order as we will be discussing essential plot points and character details from the series. But if you are done watching it already, kindly follow us through this video. And yeah, while you're at it, please like the video and subscribe to our channel, it helps us a lot. Thank you and let's move on. The series starts with a violent wrestling match where our protagonist Ozzy gets brutally beaten by his peers for not following the rules of the game. He retaliates with some unlawful moves so everyone standing around the ring beats the beep out of him. While getting their fill, Ozzy along with Shimizu, a relatively weaker individual, are called in to deal with some nasty business left behind by their seniors. While remembering about his home, he recalled how he had to deal with his daily life, like when he went to a nearby building to force his cheating mother to pay the rent. Ozzy used to live with his father, who used to be a sushi shop owner, but lost everything after the business went bankrupt. Ozzy's mother left him following the incident and has since been living in a nearby home, though his poor father looks after her rent and accommodation. After seeing his potential, Ensho took out Ozzy for a treat and convinced him to participate in sumo wrestling and offered him a huge amount of money. Thinking about his condition, he accepted the proposal. In the present time, when two journalists were called to make a report on Ensho Dojo, they witnessed the kind of brutality a lower level wrestler has to face. As Kunishima, one of the journalists, tries to step inside the ring, she is stopped by a veteran wrestler who told that the women are not allowed inside the dojo. Her senior explains to her the rules of the game and tells her that every single one of them is trying their best to become Yokozuna. To give her a context, he tells her that in the 1500 years of history of sumo, there have been only 72 of them and all the contenders are stuck in a time capsule of tradition. Though she tries to make Ozai speak against the tradition, he refuses to open his mouth without payment. Inushima, a rival coach, tries his best to fire Ozai from the association for his reckless behavior. But the authorities try to calm him down and console him by telling Ensho Ozai's coach who was not responsible for his misfortune. At the dojo, Oze discovers his coach underpaid him for not playing with his technique, so he retaliates and gets beaten once again. He tries to run away from the dojo after playing some pranks, but Shimizu convinces him and makes him understand his potential, so he decides to return and starts practicing Shiko, the ceremonial leg stomping ritual of Sumo. But despite his hard efforts, Oze is still unable to perform Shiko and he receives a great beating from his senior Enya. Konishima is still pursuing her side of the story. She even confronts Yugiseki, an Ozeki title holder, with the discrimination of women by the sumo wrestler. And Ozeki stands in the second level of the sumo pyramid, and they have the best chance to become a Yokozuna. It is considered one of the finest levels of Makuuchi. He is about to fight Shizuchi, but the wrestler with the scar has a dark past, as we see a flashback with him holding a bloody knife as a woman and little boy die. In the Ensho Dojo, Oji starts to get a hold of the game. He is pretty close to beating Enga, but he fails. Enga, on the other hand, is jealous of Oze for getting more attention from girls like Nanami than him. So he and his friends throw out Oze's father's gift. Later, Oze finds out that his father had an accident at work and he won't ever be able to move. His mother disowns the expenses and Oze needs to take care of his father. He finally finds the motivation to practice relentless Shiko after his father's misfortune and Kunishima and Nanami's constant support. Finally, Shizuchi shows his respect by offering him a drink after his hard work. As his growth is not fast enough, Oze finds meaner and more unethical ways to earn money, but he keeps on getting better at his game at the same time. His father needs more money for the treatment, but he chooses to spend it on Naname instead of his father. While eating sushi, he recalls the memories of their old restaurant, and while dropping off Naname, he loses his wallet. Later, it was revealed that it was Naname all along who stole it, probably with the help of the phony foreign students, and she's a ruthless gold digger. Oze decides to concentrate on his game and he manages to defeat Enga and he receives the title slash ring name Enno from his stable master. On the match day, he finds Shimizu, but instead of playing sumo, he became an usher. Oze aka Enno wins the first match against a formidable opponent, but his behavior in the ring is heavily criticized and the stable master tries to beat some sense into him. 
He also witnesses a glorious match of Shizuuchi and becomes jealous of his accomplishment. Later that day, Ensho is approached by Inushima to make Enno resign from the game for his misbehavior inside the dojo. Meanwhile, Kurishima is having troubles in her new job, and as her former boss slash lover calls her, she gets more inspired to pursue a great story in the sports setting. Inushima is then persuaded by Okami from removing Enno from the match, and he could not do anything because she is Chairman Kumado's illegal daughter. From there on, Enno is on a winning spree. Thus, Inushima tries to stop his progress by appointing Bagari to break his arm, but Enya manages to defeat him by using one of his stable master's secret moves. Yet, Enno gets mixed up with some rich brats who tempt him with money, and Enno acts recklessly while parting with them. In the meantime, a strange man starts digging into Shizuuchi's past in Hokkaido and comes across his mother's tomb and questions the local priest about the renowned wrestler's past life. Enya has been suffering for a long time from a knee injury and he decides to retire from sumo. So he prepares for the last match. Enya was once ranked Komusubi, one of the two steps of Sayanku, but for his knee injury, he lost his rank from Churyo to Mukushita. Meanwhile, Enno steps up from Jonukichi or beginner to Jonita. Murata, the rich brat, wants to become Enno's patron, and he seems to be manipulating the dull headed wrestler. He even makes him act like an animal, but it seems Enno does not understand where this is headed. Enku is heartbroken about Enya's decision to choose Enno as his successor, so he goes on and insults Enno on social media. Inushima cleverly puts Enya against Shizuuchi to satisfy his ego by insulting the veteran and his dojo in his last match. And while practicing with Enno, Enya receives an unfortunate injury on his knee. This injury causes him a massive deal as he loses against Shizuuchi without having a proper fighting chance. After the match, the strange man finally meets with Shizuuchi and blackmails him with his findings. He asks him to lose his next match against Enno, which does not make Shizuuchi quite happy. On the match day, Shizuuchi faces off against Enno, and a strange smile appears on his face, which was present when his parents died in front of him. Shizuuchi wreaks havoc on Enno, and Uze loses one of his ears. He is hospitalized, and Shizuuchi decides to retire from the game. Meanwhile, the reporter comes to know about his secret employer. It was Ryukuzeki, and he confronts the wrestler, but the veteran declines his claims. Ryukuzeki wanted to stop Shizuuchi. Shizuuchi from breaking his records, and as the wrestler retires, his records are safe for the time being. Shizuuchi, on the other hand, visits his hometown, and we get to see our flashback when he and his brother were tortured by their mother. It is clear that the mother did not clearly want to keep them in her custody, and she has abusive tendencies. After recovering from his wounds, Enno is invited by his patron, but they have a fight with one another, and Enno leaves the place after beating the brat. The next day, Umayama and his team visits Ensho's dojo, and all of them have a friendly spar. But Enno is scared of fighting, and everyone in the dojo loses before Umayama's team. When Bagari mocks Enno, he hits him with a wooden bucket, and everyone from the association wants him out of the game. Meanwhile, Ryukuzeki's patron Ito threatens the reporter with his child's life and asks him to let go of the scoop. The old man seems to have a disturbing relationship with Ryukuzeki's mother. Ryukuzeki's father, the Yokozuna, throws his mother out for misbehaving with their patron, and at his patron's place, Enno finds his girlfriend cheating on him. He lacks motivation, and everyone from the committee wants to throw him out. Enshu is ready to obey the decision to protect his table, however, his wife Okami manages to convince the Yokozuna to reconsider the decision. Meanwhile, Kunishima begs Inushima to let Enno play, and the Ozeki is forced to reconsider his decision. Finally, the ban on Enno is finally lifted, and in the meantime, we also get to see our flash back of Shizuuchi, and it seems after getting innumerable insults from her neighbors, his mother killed her younger son and committed suicide in front of the innocent kid. He was a sumo prodigy from a very young age, and now he is motivated to get back to the doyo. When his mother visits Uzi for money, he overcomes his fear of slaps after she consecutively hits him in the cheek. And later, Eno finally bows his head in front of Ensho and asks him to teach the intricate art form. Along with Eno, the entire group is fully motivated to achieve their goals, and they all participate in arduous training sessions. The next time they face off against Umayama's team, they manage to return the defeated title to the Kurab Boss's table. All of the Ensho stable members and well wishes gather for Enya's Danpatsu Shiki. After retiring, a sumo wrestler has to cut off his top knot, and his entire team helps him in this journey. This is the first time when we get to see a top knot on Enno's head. Kunishima can be seen crying in the scene, which suggests that she has become an avid connoisseur of the game. While cutting Enya's top knot, Ensho remembers the time when he practically adopted Enya as his son, and since then they have shared a father son relationship. Looking at the ceremony, Enno starts respecting the game a lot, and now he bows in front of 
everyone without hesitation. The next day he faces off against Shizuuchi once again, but this time he's a changed man. Shizuuchi's motivation in the fight is his deceased mother and brother who seemed happy whenever they saw him play. And Eno's motivation is to take care of his father and reopen the sushi shop. As they finally clash, the first season of the series comes to an end on an ambiguous note. The series is a great addition to Netflix's international library and I'm positive that it will soon pick up a huge audience. The attention to detail is inhuman and every single actor of the series embodied the characters with perfection. The performances are outstanding and it takes us on a lesser known journey of the sumo world. The camera work and editing are brilliant, it even has some anime inspired shots that are just a treat to look at. I'm genuinely invested in the second installment of the show which we will definitely get if Netflix does not get back to its cancel spree. Hey hey hey, thank you for watching this video, do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching Sanctuary on Netflix, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema series. See you at the next one and for the timing we are signing off, Johnny don't you see I am doing Shigo and I'll be back.